Hi guys, I'm Nathan Richard, and for today's web exclusive, I'm going to give you a review of the latest season of one of my favorite TV shows, BoJack Horseman. The show follows a washed up 90s sitcom actor who deals with the mundanities of life of a celebrity. He's a depressed, drinks heavily, sleeps around, does drugs, and thinks that all those around him have it much better than him. He also just so happens to be a horse. The show stars Will Arnett as BoJack, Amy Soderes as his agent ex-lover, Princess Carolyn, Paul F. Tompkins as a fellow 90s TV star, Mr. Peanut Butter, Alison Brie as BoJack's former crush and Mr. Peanut Butter's wife, and Aaron Paul as BoJack's happy-go-lucky friend Todd who lives with him. The show started off rough in the first half of the season one, but it continued to build itself up to become one of the most critically acclaimed shows on TV. Yeah, it's still criminally underrated and doesn't get enough praise. Season four of the show starts out with Bojack being absent from the first episode, and we follow along the supporting characters of the show, including Mr. Peanut Butter, who challenges the current governor of California to a ski race. After the first two episodes, Bojack returns to LA, and that's when all mayhem breaks loose. His relationship with his best friend and former housemate Todd is strained, and most people still believe that he's gone. It's not until a young horse girl named Hollyhock arrives, who might just be Bojack's daughter, but he begins to branch out again. This leads to Bojack's dementia-stricken mother to come move in with Bojack and Hollyhock. All in the meanwhile, Mr. Peanut Butter's relationship with his wife Diane starts failing with his run for governor, as well as Princess Carolyn, who starts taking her relationship with her boyfriend to the next level. Now I have to say, this is the best season of the show yet. After a stellar season three, I thought there was no way the creators could top it with season four, but they most certainly did. In this season, it becomes clear, BoJack Horseman is no longer just an animated comedy. It's a drama with comedy mixed in. This season is a total emotional roller coaster from start to finish, especially with the final four episodes, which absolutely destroyed me. If you thought season three was brutal, just wait until you watch season four. This season also really helped flesh out the side characters even more than ever, becoming way more human than they ever were. We learn a lot about Princess Carolyn, but surprisingly, the side character who's really brought out is Bojack's mother, Beatrice Sugarman, who never had too big of a role in this series until now, where we find her suffering with dementia and not being able to even remember her own son's name. As for issues with this season, like always, there are some jokes that miss the mark and fall flat. There's also a couple filler episodes that didn't particularly live up to the rest of the season. That job, bad plots that just felt very out of place. Though that's really all the problems I had with this season. I can't recommend BoJack Horseman enough. It truly is not only one of the best shows on Netflix, but it's one of the best shows on TV right now. And season four does nothing but prove that. I give BoJack Horseman Season 4 a 4.8 out of 5.